Hello everyone. Welcome to a very nice game that was played a couple of days back between Pragnananda uh, Ramesh Babu and uh, Gabriel Sargassian. This was played in round 2 of the FIDE World Cup and uh, this is a classical tournament where the players play over the board and not in an online tournament. The time format for this tournament is 90 minutes for the first 40 moves uh, followed by 30 minutes for the rest of the game with a 30 second increment starting move 1. This will be a best of two games where uh, two games will be played between uh, uh, each player and the winner would advance to the next round. If both the matches are drawn, then uh, they would play uh, two ra uh, rapid games of 25 minutes each. And if the rapid games are drawn, they would play another set of rapid games with 10 minutes um, uh, time format. If the second rapid games are also drawn, then they would play two blitz games. Um, of, of 5 minutes each and if the blitz, ga blitz games are also drawn, they play an Arm Armageddon game to decide the winner. An Armageddon game is one where uh, the white player will have 5 minutes and uh, black has 4 minutes. White has to win the game whereas if black draws, then he uh, advances to the next round. So let's probably just quickly uh, jump onto this very nice uh, game. The, the whole theme of this game is uh, you need to protect your pawns and uh, not leave them hanging. Great, so Prague has the white pieces and uh, Gabriel has the black pieces. So we have e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, we have the scotch game on the board. We have e takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop c5 attack, attacking the uh, knight on d4. Knight drops back to b3 attacking the bishop. We have bishop to b6, knight c3 continuing development adding another defender to the e4 pawn. Knight g7, um, a, a better move would have been, uh, uh, you, you could you would probably consider developing a knight to the f6 square, I think that would have been better. Um, we have bishop g5 pinning the knight, black castles, we have queen d2, uh, white prepares to castle on the queen side, and uh, d6, and now we have a queen side castle as planned. We have queen a8 uh, getting out of the nasty pin. Bishop b5 now trying to pin the queen uh, uh, through the uh, knight on c6. Now we have f6 pushing the bishop back. Bishop drops back to e3. We have queen f7 uh, getting out of the pin again. And uh, we have knight d5 attacking the knight on uh, e7. We have knight captures on d5. e captures on d5 attacking the pin piece. Uh, bishop drops, bishop captures e3. Queen captures e3 and now uh, we, ju we just move the knight back to e5 getting out of the danger. We have f4 attacking the knight. Um, knight to d7. Rook heads to e1 doubling up on the e file uh, with, with a nice uh, queen rook battery so that makes it difficult for uh, black to probably occupy the open uh, e file. We have a6 attacking the bishop. Bishop drops back to e2. We have f5 trying to take away the uh, uh, the g4 square from uh, white's bishop. Uh, we have queen c3 uh, with an attack on the c7 pawn. And uh, knight drops to f6 um, uh, where the queen defends the c7 pawn and now there's a double attack on uh, the d5 pawn. So bishop to f3 defending the pawn once again. We have knight e4 and um, with this knight e4, uh, uh, Gabriel is trying to sacrifice a pawn uh, to get as much development as possible. But um, uh, Prague is not going to allow this so easily. So he accepts the challenge. Uh, bishop captures e4, pawn captures e4 and uh, we have rook to e4. Now Prague is up a pawn. We have bishop to f5 with an attack on the rook. Rook moves to c4 um, uh, with a double attack on the c7 pawn. Now we have bishop to g4 uh, attacking the rook and uh, the rook moves to g4 uh, getting away from danger. We have rook to c8 uh, defending the pawn once again. We have queen to g3 with an attack on the bishop on c, uh, g4. We have bishop f5. And uh, now we have knight a5 with an attack now on the uh, b7 pawn. Just uh, I mean, if you just observe everywhere uh, Prague is just trying to make use of or trying to develop his pieces with tempo attacking uh, any of the undefended pawns and um, uh, he's going to gain a lot of um, activity and uh, space through this. Now we have b6 with an attack on the 
uh, on, on the knight. The knight moves to c6. And um, notice that now this knight is going to be, uh, it's going to be very difficult to remove the knight from the c6 square because you don't have a pawn on b7 to oppose the knight. Now we have rook uh, c to e8, um, grabbing hold of the open e file and also looking at possible uh, back rank weaknesses if Prague is not careful. So uh, Prague defenses again with uh, moving the rook back to d1. And we have bishop to d7. And uh, we have b3, making an escape route for the king just so that in case if uh, uh, you, you just don't want to avoid, I mean, you want to avoid any back rank we meeting weaknesses. Now we have d5 with an attack on the rook. Uh, a rook to d4 with an other, uh, adding another defender to the uh, uh, pawn on uh, d5. We have bishop captures. Um, d captures c6 and uh, rook to e2 uh, trying to uh, grab hold of the uh, second rank but uh, Prague is not going to allow this. He plays rook, uh, rook to d1. Uh, we have a trade on the d2 square. We have rook captures, king captures and uh, now we have queen to h5. Um, we have h3 so that uh, the queen need not necessarily uh, uh, be on the g3 square. So if the queen moves, uh, uh, the pawn on h2 will not be a target. And now uh, we have queen c5. Um, this is actually the biggest mistake uh, of this game because uh, up until this position, it, it was it was a pretty equalish game. Um, and um, it would have mostly, most probably be headed for a drop. Um, uh, the idea behind black moving the queen to uh, c5 is uh, for them to attack the undefended pawn on c6. But... Um, I mean, as you see, you just can't move the rook to c4. But there is um, an even better idea to probably win the c4. What you would have to do is to uh, keep attacking the e2 square and then uh, go for a double attack on the c6 pawn. So uh, a, a much better move would have been something like rook e8 uh, where you attack the uh, e2 square twice. So um, queen to e2 check or rook to e2 check would be, um, um, you know, very uncomfortable for white to play with. We would have uh, white would have to play play queen to d3 uh, to defend the e2 square, and now you go after the c6 uh, uh, c5 square um, uh, on and on, on the on the pawn on uh, c6. So um, uh, now the same idea does not apply. Uh, you you cannot uh, block or you cannot defend the pawn by playing um, a queen to c3 because. Um, rook to e2 with check would come and you would have to either capture the rook or move away from uh, the defense um, uh, of the queen and the king would have to move away from the c3 square and um, the queen would just simply gobble the undefended queen so that would not be possible so you would have to play something like uh, rook e4 offer a rook trade and uh, after queen captures c6 also defending the rook on uh, e8 now you would have rook captures e8 queen captures e8 and um, this this would be an equalish position both players have uh, uh, six pawns each and um, it it'll, it'll most probably be a draw um, uh, but instead uh, instead of um, uh, playing the rook to e8 um, uh, gabriel actually went for queen to c5 with an attack um, uh, attacking the c6 pawn but now prague has this brilliant maneuver of uh, moving queen to c3 where um, uh, you defend the pawn and also attack uh, the black queen um, and uh, uh, gabriel being down a pawn now it'll be very difficult for him to uh, you know trade queens it, it'll not be um, uh, worthwhile so um, uh, you would have to move the queen uh, so you you have queen to uh, f5 now we have queen f3, um, keeping an eye on uh, the c6 uh, c6 pawn and also remaneuvering your queen. Um, you have queen to c5, uh, black will just have to wait uh, and see what uh, uh, white is, uh, uh, what, what is white's plan. So uh, Prague plays queen to e4, uh, remaneuvering the queen, centralizing the queen, uh, preparing queen to um, e6 check, uh, which would also... Uh, which will be very difficult to play. So we have queen to h5, queen e6 with check, king moves to h8 and uh, instead of king to h8 you could have probably uh, defended with queen to e7 where you would, you'd, you'd most probably go for, go for a queen trade but um, Gabriel over here at this point of time he was very low in time uh, and um, he made this in one uh, mistake that uh, really allowed uh, 
prag to take uh, uh, advantage of so um, so prag immediately plays uh, queen e7 uh, with an attack on the uh, on, on on the rook um we have uh, rook to e8 uh, and now prag grabs another pawn uh, uh, queen c7 and uh, notice that um, uh, now uh, queen to e2 or rook to e2 uh, you you again have a lot of independent uh, you have a lot of squares for the king to escape via um, the c3 b2 uh, and uh, a3 squares and over here the king will be very safe and um, at this position um, your um, d6 pawn is hanging and uh, you you have a passed a c pawn uh, which are ready to push and um, this is almost game over for black uh, uh, gabriel just plays another couple of moves he tries uh, queen to e2 with check but the king nicely escapes with um, uh, uh, by moving it to uh, king c3 you now we have b4 and uh, instead of even grabbing the pawn um, prag just plays king to b2 and uh, it was in this position that um, uh, gabriel decided to resign the game as there's really nothing more to be done uh, whatever he plays um, the queen is going to capture the pawn on d6 and uh, slowly but surely um uh, we're going to win the game uh, by pushing the queen to uh, by pushing the pawn to a queen so um, that is it so this was the first game of their uh, two game encounter i will definitely cover the second game as well um uh, do follow the channel and uh, uh, support the channel as well so i hope you really enjoyed this game um uh, thank you a lot and have a nice day bye